Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is a timeless love reading. For anyone who stumbles across this, this reading is about who is the next person who's going to be attracted to you, okay? Who is the next person? So I have three piles. I have the morning dove. I have the crow. And I have, I don't even know what kind of feather this is. Somebody gave it to me. <laughs> Actually, they gave me a couple. But I always see it as light and fresh. Okay, so um, pick the pile that you want. Meditate on it. Clear your energy before you choose. If you choose something and it doesn't resonate right off the get-go, it's just something that doesn't feel right, then feel free to pick another one. I will pause in between each one. There will be timestamps down below, okay? So you can uh, click on the one that you want to watch. So here we go. I'm just going to move these out of the way. So the next person who's going to be interested in you, attracted to you, poised, okay. Oh, yeah, this person likes you. They kind of have you on a bit of a pedestal. <laughs> they see you poised and ready. They're attracted. Oh, yeah, they're definitely going to go for it. Uh, they, this is an energy of someone who kind of feels really good, okay, uh, when they realize that they have someone that they're really attracted to. They see you as someone who looks out for themselves, that you're poised and ready to go, and they like that, so it's very much an uh, attraction. Ah, awakening genius. This person sees you as smart, intelligent, poised, you know how to handle yourself, so they're very attracted to you. Uh, the awakening, this is someone who's kind of waking up. Maybe they've been single for a while, waking up to the idea of love. But this is someone very intelligent, okay? So they're very attracted to you possibly because of that. Nice energy. Yeah, so they will likely, yeah, they might be a little bit shy, so it takes them a while to kind of uh, wake up and make that offer. And I do feel this is someone who's going to, you know, do you want to go for a cup of coffee? Do you want to get together? Okay. They may tell you a little fish tail at first, okay, till they wake up. Uh, but I feel like they definitely have a positive energy. I do feel it's high vibrational. Yeah, so I do feel this person is definitely, yeah, they're somebody who is very deep. They're a little bit mysterious, and that's likely why they're attracted to you, okay? I, I do feel a very high vibrational energy, uh, and I feel like that's what, this is that awakening. They're waking up. This is somebody who's waking up. You've caught their attention, and they're going to offer you a little cup. It's just going to take them a little time to kind of reach out. They're probably a little shyer than you are, but they likely won't let you see it. They'll keep that to themselves, but they see you as very mysterious and very deep, very wise. Oh, they like that. I feel they have that energy as well. They just don't share it right away. Uh, Ace of Cups, yeah. This is someone who's definitely thinking about love and their feelings. They're very emotional. They see you as someone with that cup that runneth over. You're not afraid to really put yourself out there a little bit, but yet there's that mysterious side. They want to get to know more. Uh, about you and I feel this person has deep emotions they are someone who feels things deeply uh, I do think that this is someone who's going to take that deep dive it takes them a little bit of time okay but that's why they're attracted to you you have that higher vibrational energy yeah so this person you know they go there's that moon energy they keep things to themselves they could be a secret admirer someone who's getting ready to uh, offer you a cup, um, you know, a cup of coffee, let's go for a drink, let's get together, or they just might strike up a conversation. It's an emotional offer, but it's, you know, they kind of keep a lot to themselves. You won't get a lot of information from this person. Now, like I said, it takes them a little bit to kind of open up, but this is someone who's opening up to the idea of a fresh new start, and they like your energy. Yeah, I do think this person's used to keeping things to themselves very private. They're doing a little shadow work, you know. This is a, I feel like it's not going to take this person a long time. There's someone who just kind of goes with the flow. When it feels right, they'll kind of go for it. Um, but I do feel there's someone who keeps a lot of their feelings to themselves at first. They like to sort of, sort of like baby steps with this person is what I feel. But that's the idea of waking up, right? Uh, you've caught this person's attention. <laughs> uh, they're very attracted, you know. There's something about you that's mysterious. Now that draws them to you. And then we have this hierophant. Yeah, this is someone who's thinking about marriage and commitment. They want to know about your traditions, habits to see if you're on the same page. They don't know yet. They likely will kind of keep that from you too. It is the way they kind of conduct themselves. 
So, but I do think they're thinking of, you know, committing to somebody. And uh, I do think it's about being on the same page. I feel this person is someone who's quite educated. They see you that way. Uh, as like you're very educated. And I feel they are. I do feel that they are. They need to learn more too. They, you know, seeing if you're on the same page. So it's going to take a little bit of time. Yeah, this is someone who goes with the flow. You see, they're going through that awakening. They're waking up their heart. Probably been single for a while. Maybe there's someone who goes to school. They could be a teacher. But this is definitely um, an educational experience for this person as well, you see. Just going with the flow, opening up their heart, uh, letting go of their fears. This shadow work. So I feel like they got a few fears, you know, of whether someone will be on the same path, the same page, if you'll get each other, if you have the same uh, beliefs and traditions, the same kind of lifestyle. So I feel once they see that, that you're on the same page, and I feel like you will, uh, this is going to move forward, but it does take a little bit for them to open up, okay? But they are going to go with the flow. They're generally somebody like that. It's just the way they are. Oh, yeah, they do want to start something. Oh, yeah, it takes them a bit to open up, express themselves. Uh, I do think they have an introverted extrovert. Well, not so much introvert, but they're just a little careful about who they share emotions with at first. Uh, and I do think once things start to move with you and this person and they see you're on the same page, they're going to open up. They know they have to be the one to start this, okay, to express themselves. I do feel they're a pretty happy person overall. I do think they have an extroverted side. They just kind of keep it on the cool for a little bit. This is someone who has a tendency to kind of tell themselves little stories in their head, you know, their little fears and things they keep to themselves. They won't they won't tell you that, at least at first. Maybe when they uh, see there's this faith, this is somebody here, you know, and until they know that they can have faith um, that you won't sort of put it out there. This is, I, I feel they have a little bit of a private side. It keeps popping into my head. I'm going to go with my intuition. Yeah, this is someone here is not generally into taking risks, but they can at times when they really want something. Okay, so you've got this person's attention. They see you as poised and ready, and I think they're getting themselves ready. Okay, they're going to come in, I think, with this, you know, kind of ready for anything attitude. But I think inside this person, you know, they're kind of a little bit of scared of sharing their feelings. And I do think they're going to admire you from a distance just a little bit, but not for a long time. It's likely, you know, someplace in your community through family or friends or somewhere where they're, you know, they want to offer you this. They really want to do it. So I do think they're eventually going to just take that leap. They're going to go for it. They do have that risky side. You know, they have kind of have two sides to them is what I feel like is telling me. But once they know what they need to know, uh, after a, maybe a brief conversation or a drink or a cup of coffee, it could be just a hi, hey, how are you? That kind of thing. You know, no, do you live around here? You know, that kind of thing. Uh, and then they're going to go for it. So, yeah, they will come in like a storm. Oh, yeah, look at that. Ten of cups. This person is definitely, you know, this, they will come in like a wrecking ball once they're ready. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, they definitely want that emotional fulfillment. They'll all of a sudden just tell you kind of what they want. Uh, about their, you know, what they want in the future. So I do think they will put themselves out there when they're ready. So very nice. It's just going to start, you know, little baby steps at first. Uh, because I do, like I said, I feel like they're going through that awakening. Awaken up to the idea of all love. It's like you're waking them up. It's like, oh, who's that, right? But there's mysteries here. This person likes to have a deep conversation. I think they have very deep feelings. They feel things very deeply. And they don't always put it out there right away. Uh, it's just the way they are, the way they conduct themselves. They don't have a lot of faith, I feel, for, I got to be honest, in relationships or committed energy, okay? Uh, but it's about that faith in themselves, about just going with the flow. So I actually feel this person is very much in the energy of, you know, moving towards something more committed. Um, I do feel that energy. They really want to start something. And that is that they're very attracted to you. And I do think they are high vibrational or they're moving in that energy. A little bit of a wake up call. It's likely someone who, like I say, has been single and they're realizing, wow, you know, I need, I should start thinking about commitment and marriage and, you know, things like that. They may be thinking about their habits, the way they've conducted themselves, a little shadow work. So they're facing their fears. They may be a little afraid to face you at first because they do find you attractive. They, you know, they're very drawn to this energy. 
Yeah, so I like that storm warning. They're going to come in very quickly. This person wants to have success. Oh, yeah. So I do feel like this is someone who's had, um, has definitely had some false victories in the past. So they have a little bit of fears about opening up because they've opened up before and didn't really get what they wanted. So, uh, but I think this whole energy is going to change. Okay. Uh, this person is ready for that. So I see the death of something, the death of the ego. Their ego is kind of getting in the way. It's a common thing people go through when they take those baby steps. You know, this is about, this is someone who possibly could be a little bit of a free spirit. Uh, but I think they're thinking of giving that, that up and moving towards success. This is somebody who may have just sold their home. They may have moved into your neighborhood. I do feel they're successful. Like, yeah, look, it's funny because I said, do you live in this neighborhood? That's interesting. Uh, so I like that energy, but I like this card too because it shows a different point of view of the death card, the sale of a home, letting something go, okay? Uh, and there is a transition period. This person could be going through some kind of a transitional energy. They may have just uh, uh, set themselves free from a re relationship. It may have happened very suddenly, but I actually think they're going to come in sudden. They want to have success with you. Uh, I do think they are successful. Uh, someone, especially, I feel they could be someone who buys and sells homes, a real estate agent, things like that. Uh, I do see that energy, but I also see the death of the ego. They're going to just like let it go. So it will take a little bit of time. I do think you'll have a couple of dates with this person or you'll connect with them or run into them somewhere. Uh, there'll be those little baby steps forward before they say, hey, do you want to get together? Right? I think they could be new in your neighborhood too or buying a home in your neighborhood. This isn't somebody who generally chases, but I think they will chase after you. <laughs> yeah, they got that little side to themselves, right? They got a little baby steps forward until they're sure, but they are drawn to some kind of mysterious energy around you. Uh, they may have some of that energy as well. Yeah, they, they definitely, oh, look at that. There's that mystery. I say very deep. They like deep conversations, very intelligent. And that's why they're drawn to you. This awakening wow this person could be a teacher and i see that energy or somebody you know either professor things like that they teach something it could be anything uh, but i do feel that they're learning things about themselves they will come towards you they're kind of strategizing they're in their head you know they're it's all they're going to be careful how they conduct themselves they're going to just kind of go with the flow a little bit here <laughs> Uh, but I do think this is somebody, I like their energy because I think they're, uh, they're, they're, there's things they want to know. They want some kind of clarity first. Uh, and I do think they are rather strategic, so they're taking baby steps. They're just going to take that one step forward. But this is that mysterious energy where there's things they want to learn. And I do think they are a little mysterious themselves. So it's just the way they, they, they are. It's their habits, the way they conduct themselves. I do think this person is rather traditional, you know, in some sense. They may want to date in a traditional manner. Uh, I do feel that this is someone who's quite particular about who they connect with. And the reason being is they want somebody who has the same lifestyle, uh, traditions, maybe religion, spiritual beliefs. Um, it'll be different for everybody. Uh, but I do think they are willing to kind of go with the flow until they get to know you, until everything's out in the open. So very nice. They will take that risk. They are somebody who can take risks, and I traditionally don't think they do, but they're going to for you. And they're going to just all of a sudden, like I say, with this storm warning, it's coming in very fast. But they are a little afraid of having a false victory. There's no doubt. Uh, it's possible you this could start and end just as fast as it starts, and I feel like that's more their energy, but it is possible. So I'm going to dig into that a little bit here and just see what that's all about. Mm this deck here tell me about the death card what is this yeah the chariot yeah this person's had a little bit of a push pull uh, they definitely like to feel need to feel they're in control i feel in the past this person's lost control of relationships they've rushed in too quickly you see so i do feel like there is a little caution there uh, i feel it's more them feeling a little cautious little baby steps while they kind of strategize and they learn about you First of all, I definitely feel they could be new in your neighborhood or your community, literally very close by. Uh, with the chariot, they're very much in control of their emotions. They need to feel like they're in control. They need to feel like they're in charge. 
Uh, nine of inspiration. Yeah. This person is definitely somebody who's very inspired. See, that's that high vibrational energy. This is someone who doesn't want to miss an opportunity, though. I can tell you that right now. They don't want to have any regrets. Uh, I feel as if it doesn't work out between you, they will put it out there. But if it doesn't work out, it's okay. Okay, this isn't somebody who holds grudges, but I do feel them kind of pulled in a couple different directions because of uh, things, false victories they've had in the past. But like I say, I see that moving forward. This person's thinking of giving up their single life. Like, I don't know if they've just been through a divorce or they've just sold a house. I don't really see a divorce um, so much, but it's possible. They are thinking of commitment and marriage and just getting to know someone. They're ready to start something here. I think you inspire this person as well. And I feel like this is someone who doesn't want to miss this opportunity. This person will let you know too. They have regrets in the past from rushing into a relationship. So they may have rushed into one in the past. It could be very much in the past. I feel there's been a big transition period with this person. Yeah, they, they definitely, they, they, you know, they're going to tell you they have regrets for rushing into things. But I'm going to tell you, this is probably going to move faster than they want because they are very, very drawn, very attracted to that vibrational energy. Um, they see you as somebody who's just like uh, poised and ready and, you know, ready to go. So it might be a little food for thought for yourself uh, to make sure that, you know, it's all right to put yourself out there. Absolutely not. You know, I see you poised and ready to go. You're ready for this person. Uh, but they take a little bit longer. So it's just letting you know. But yeah, they like that energy. And I think they're going to have you on a pedestal before long, too. <laughs> Make sure you don't put yourself so high up you're out of reach. Okay, just watch that energy uh, when you have a conversation. Don't put yourself so high up there that you... Um, because I actually feel they've had that situation. See, uh, that's that storm, the storm warning. You know, there's a little bit of a warning here. Um, they may say something or they may feel this energy because of it so just watch how highly you put your you raise the bar uh, give this person a little bit of a chance i do think they've had some false victories i don't think this will be a false victory necessarily but it is possible it could start and end very quickly but i think this is somebody who's like wow very very attractive and i feel like it's an energy too if it doesn't work out and it ends they they're not going to have any regrets okay so they're not they're not someone who holds grudges they just kind of go with the flow so it's whether or not you feel that this person is you know your type so uh, somebody who inspires you as well so let's see about this page of cups oops there we go this one wants to come out oh yeah see yeah this is somebody here has a little mental conflict going on in their head I feel, yeah, they do have a little bit of an ego and I feel they've had relationships that have ended, but I feel like that's gone. So I'm glad that this is up here. This is that mental conflict, you know, the little voices in their head, they tell them stories. They're not so sure if you're going to see them the same way as what I feel. So this person does like attention. They kind of like to chase, but I think this person knows. I don't think you're going to chase this person, but I do think they're going to have you on a pedestal very quickly. Yeah, and I think they're very, very attracted. Let's pull out another card here. Tell me about this poised and ready. Let me just pull that up here. Poised and ready. There we go. Yeah, this is about value. So this person too, yeah, they, they need to know the same. They're telling themselves stories in their heads. You may not like them. You may not see their worth or, you know, this is that door to value. It has to do with, yeah, this is someone who's been chased. I think this person's had a lot of false victories. People chase this person maybe because they have a house, a home and a money and money. It kind of uh, starts and ends. So I do think they're cautious. They keep their emotions out of it for a bit. Uh, they're not ruled by their emotions. But I do think this person has had uh, some regrets in the past where they've lost control because of their ego uh, or because they've gotten too emotional too quickly. That's what I feel. So there's this goes both ways. It's door to value. So this person does see your worth and your value. I can tell you they got you on a pedestal, but they need to feel the same. So I feel they got a little conflicting energy. This is the stories they tell themselves in their head. Okay. <laughs> This person's been manipulated before, a little bit cautious. So interesting, yeah. But they feel guided by spirit towards you, see. This is that peace 
This isn't somebody who holds grudges, though. This is an interesting thing. When they're kind of done with something, they just let it go. Uh, so that's an interesting energy. Uh, it's almost like, you know, it's an energy. of Any regrets that they have, they kind of let go of them. So this is what it's telling me. A little contradictory. So uh, two different scenarios there. But I think this is someone who uh, wants to have an opportunity with you. And I do feel that they... Uh, are feeling that you know spirit guiding leaving the you know making peace with their past spirits guiding this person towards you they feel they want to get to know you there's something mysterious about you uh, something very deep some of this is a person who feels feelings very deeply and they keep it to themselves yeah see this is someone who's had somebody who's walked away from them and i do think they will walk away if they feel there's any kind of manipulation, mind games. They don't want to play games. I feel they've done it before. You may feel that way about them, but I feel like what it is is it just baby steps forward for this person. They tell themselves stories in their head. You see, uh, they're, they're guided to you. There's something they're very attracted to you. It's about, and I do think it's their self-worth. They've had issues with people in the past, and I think it has to do with, uh, I, I think they could be quite successful. So I'd be a little cautious. Yeah, this person's a little worried that you're the type that'll walk away. But I'll tell you, if there is any manipulation or mind games, they will, okay? Because uh, this is the person who's going to be attracted to you and their energy overall. So yeah, but they are ready to leave something in the past. They're being guided towards you into the light, towards this new beginning. They have a few fears to face. I don't think it's anything major. And I do think they'll tell you in time. Uh, I don't think this is something that's going to drag on. So you're either going to start this and when they express themselves and put them out there to take this risk uh, towards that emotional fulfillment, see, to let you know their feelings, emotions. I, I you know, I, I feel like they're, they're just a pretty normal average person who's been through the ups and downs and had some false victories in relationships. But I like the transition energy because whatever it is, it's over. And this is someone who gives themselves a little time to heal. Uh, they leave the regrets in the past. So this is very inspiring energy. Uh, if you let this person kind of feel like they're in control as far as the uh, the emotional energy, so that's what I feel. They kind of control their feelings because of it. They don't get too emotionally invested too quick. So I do see this person. And it is here too, that um, king of swords. See, this is someone who's not ruled by their emotions. So if they feel they're being manipulated, they'll pick up on it right away. Um, they won't tell you these things. It's just what's going to be going on in their head. So they watch for that. Yeah, they watch for it. So their strategy is to just kind of uh, go with the flow here, kind of see what happens, get to know you. They, they see you as somebody who's emotionally kind of out there. You're not afraid to put yourself out there, I feel, within reason. I don't feel, I feel you may have some of your own little fears or things that are mysterious. Fear the unknown, right? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I, I think they, they definitely see your value and worth. They need to see it too. Um, okay. Uh, they definitely do. A uh, very wise person. Yeah. Eight of Pentacles. This is somebody who wants to build something. Uh, this is someone who's been working on themselves as well. But I do think they focus a lot on work. Uh, so if that's, if you got, this is somebody who may not have a huge amount of time for you. They're focused on success. I feel like they're trying to complete something. I don't know if it is a sale of a home or... Uh, something to do with success and financial success here as well. So they do work a lot. You'll need to probably just go with the flow with this person if you're interested. Okay, so they are attracted to you. They want to build something. This could be somebody at work as well. Okay, but they I can tell you because of when I, what I was talking about when this came out, they have put a lot of work into some relationships that didn't work. Um, so they are very cautious. Yeah, they see you as this empress energy. This could be the mother of their child too. They put a lot of work into it and uh, it likely didn't work out. But this is, they see your worth and they see your value. They want to build something with you. Uh, they definitely are, are attracted to your energy. You know your self-worth and you know your value, you see. It's as they know too. This person also knows no mind games, no nothing, right? Uh, they know that. They're thinking these things because they see you as someone who will just walk away. So this is the person who's going to be attracted to you next. I'm just going to pull out one more card and we're going to go to the, uh, I'll take a pause and go to the next reading. So what is the outcome of this situation? Yeah, so it is a transformative energy. So this is something that's going to transform. It's going to take time. 
uh, for this person to open up completely. But it is going to, it is possibility of going somewhere. Yeah. So, you know, this person goes on their intuition. They trust their gut. They're manifesting. They're going to manifest you. They actually do have the tools they need. I feel this person is going through that. I do feel like they, you know, this is someone who's leaving their ego out of it because I feel they've had issues before. This is someone who's learned and likely the hard way. You know, they've had that wake up call a few times. They know no mind games, no manipulation, but I feel like it's more like you know, they watch for that. Okay. Very, very smart person. I feel they've been manipulated before. Um, this person but i i think this person definitely sees your worth and your value they see you valuing yourself so they're they like it you got a myster mysterious energy about you the mysteries of the unknown feelings they're going to eventually want to know your feelings okay so but i think their strategy is to just kind of keep their feelings a mystery at first until they're sure how you feel yeah so their intentions is to is yeah their intention is to hold back a little bit to move towards the golden palace you see taking those steps it's baby steps for this person this person also they they're going to get you they're going to learn things they may not tell you the things that they're learning they're seeing and they're going on their gut they may be watching you a little bit um you know everything that you say to, that this person says to you could be could be a little bit of a test i don't see a lot of that just to see how you kind of like they want to know right and they're kind of fishing for information they're going to reach out and they're trying to figure things out so but very wise. I don't think this person's dishonest. I don't think they have bad intentions. In fact, I feel this is something that'll transform. Uh, this is someone who's leaving all their regrets in the past. Like they don't carry, they don't have any baggage, uh, technically. Okay. I don't see anything here to do with that, but I see this person manifesting you. Uh, and I see this person trusting their intuition a lot. Uh, they take that time, you know, they go within, they have all the answers that they're seeking. When they know everything they need to know, they're, I can guarantee you they're going to come in like a storm and you're going to see a side of them that makes you very happy. And I think they're quite a, a positive person for the most part. Yeah, friends, family, and guides, they feel guided to you. In fact, their friends or family, someone could um, tell this person to go for it. Uh, I feel they're guided. They feel that pull towards you. See, with that six, this could go somewhere. This could be quite a spiritual connection. You may be on the same page. Maybe you both uh, are learning about spirituality. You know, there's things you could learn learn from each other here too, which is really nice. Uh, I just think it's a, a quite a positive energy. Uh, I do think this person is someone who has a lot of epiphanies. Like they have a tendency to kind of you know, go within a little bit. And uh, they just kind of go on what their gut tells them, you know, that's what I feel. They're a little bit of a risk taker to open up emotionally. They're going to do it. Um, they'll put all those cups on the table. They'll share all their feelings and emotions with you when they feel like it's the right time. So, yeah, it's just a pretty normal, pretty average kind of energy for someone. Uh, somebody who's dated a lot of people, had a lot of people chase them. Uh, they're not... Uh, this isn't somebody who chases anyone for money or anything like that. That's what I feel they've had. They've ended. They've had false victories because of it. So they're leaving their ego out of it. Eventually, they're going to let go of that ego energy. They do have one, but I feel like it's more um, somebody who, do, if they don't have a victory and it ends, right, they'll be like, darn, you know, because I feel like they're thinking ahead. Like they're kind of, you know, thinking about how to have a conversation, to kind of dig deep, to find out things about you. And like I say, they're going to be fishing for information. If you've recently let go of somebody, this person may be aware of it through family or friends. You may travel in the same social circle. But I think this person's trusting their intuition. They feel guided towards you. Uh, you could actually, um, they may invite you to something or somebody else may invite you to this person they may share some information about them and you actually it could be a matchmaking kind of energy as well uh, but i like this this is the spirit guides here guiding you uh, towards this person there's this uh, butterfly energy with transformation here see is persons they've they they allow themselves time to heal from relationships i don't see that this is somebody who's rushing out of one and into another at all okay yeah, this is someone who knows they've learned the hard way. <laughs> uh, I do think this is someone who's faithful. I don't think, I think they're more worried about whether someone else is or if they can trust what people tell them as well. 
You know, they kind of go on their own gut. They don't care what other people say. They actually go on how they feel. In fact, if they have people who don't like their choice in a person, this is someone who will just let them go. They don't really care. Like I say, they're a bit of a free spirit. They do what they want. They don't really care what other people think. If they like you and they want to go for you, they'll go for it. So I feel like they want that like-minded energy. Um, so there is that spiritual guidance. I feel that you know, this person feels guided. They feel like they need to get to know you more. They want to come towards you. Uh, their intentions is to, you know, the baby steps, uh, to move towards that golden palace, to move towards a committed relationship. Uh, they know very well that you value yourself too. I think they'll learn some things about you that you will walk away from them, um, you know, if they don't uh, express themselves eventually. So, yeah, they do have fears. They, they've been they've had people walk away from them that didn't have good intentions before or they've had to walk away from. OK, so, yeah, they are very, very attracted to you. They see they they know that you see, you know, your worth and your value. They see your self-respect. So very, very drawn. All right. So I'm going to pause and I'm going to pull out pile number two. All right. Welcome back, everyone. This is pile number two. So if you pick this pile, who is the person who is going to be attracted to you next? OK. Give these the opportunity. I just picked random cards and put them in here and I'm just going to shuffle them so they come out in the order that spirit wants them to come out in. Who's the next person who's going to be attracted to you? Ooh, surrender to joy. This is somebody who's surrendered joy. They're ready for a good time. They're ready for that leap of faith. Very nice. Oh, yeah. This is someone who wants to get to know you more. This is someone who's let go of something or they're kind of moving on. They could be in transition, uh, somebody who you meet when you're traveling. Okay, but this is someone who's learned from their past and they've let go of things that no longer serve as what I feel they're ready. This is someone who's ready to surrender to anybody who brings them joy and happiness. They're very positive, very high vibrational. This is somebody who just, it's going to be very random, it says here, that when you meet this person, either traveling, now they could be moving into your neighborhood, somebody who's relocating, unless or unless it's yourself. So this is someone who's learned from their past. They're moving forward calmly and peacefully. Now this is person's peaceful. They're they're calm. They they're happy. They're uh, definitely somebody who's got a positive energy. I love that. This person's attracted to you more than likely because of this energy, and they want to get to know more. Who's the next person who's attracted to you? Here we go. Oh yeah. So this is nice. This is someone who's been kind of looking for the one. Uh, definitely if they don't find that person they keep on looking yeah you know, looking for a specific person here so very nice whatever you're waiting for it looks like it's coming towards you <laughs> who is the person who is interested in you next attracted to you I'm gonna pull that one out uh, this person's yeah this is somebody here who definitely will move away if there's any any uh, arguing or fighting or drama. They're not into that. They want things to be peaceful. They're moving forward peaceful, calmly. They just want to get to know you. Uh, they're going to just wait and see how things go. So I do feel this person, when they are ready, they'll take action, okay? Uh, they try to do everything they can to avoid conflict. They don't like conflict. If there's too many obstacles, too, they could move on. But I think this person's up for the challenge. In fact, I think this person likes to have fun. Uh, I think they like to, they like a little bit of competitive energy. Uh, they like that kind of energy. They have fun with it. I feel they have a very good sense of humor as well. Uh, they may like to dance and show off and things like that. They like to attract attention a little bit. They may try to do that to get your attention as well. Oh, yeah, they really do have a positive vibe. Uh, or they're attracted to you because of it. But yeah, I feel like this is uh, very positive. Look at that, six of cups. Yeah, this is somebody who definitely takes moments where they reminisce about relationships that didn't work. Okay, uh, but I do think this person is crushing. When they're ready to take action, they will. Okay, for that six of cups energy. This person's playful. I feel they have a youthful side to them. Like, I can see that energy, a little bit flirty. Uh, and, and But if you're like that, you can flip that. They, that's why they're attracted to you. Uh, but, you know, the question is, who is the person who's attracted to you? This is someone who may have children. 
No, they like to play with children. They like, you know, they or they have a childlike kind of uh, youthful energy. They like to have fun. I feel the sense of humor. They may do a lot of sports and things like that as well. So, but it is a crush energy. Okay, I'm just going to wait to see how things go. There we are, yeah. So someone who does take a little time, they have a tendency to move a little slow. Uh, it's possible that because of it, because they have children, I feel like they may have children or they want to have children, uh, but they're not ready yet as well. So, uh, but I think this person is definitely ready to take action. If there is drama, they'll just kind of move away calmly and peacefully. They'll just drift on. They don't want drama. They want to have fun. Uh, they like to have fun with children. They like to play with children. Uh, but it's very possible, like I said, this is someone who kind of reminisces, they think, uh, back from other relationships they've learned from. So they will just kind of wait a little and see how things go. Um, they, they are looking for the one, though. This is someone who's probably uh, taken a long time to meet the right person. I do feel there's someone who wants to have success. I do think they want children, some of them. If they don't want children, it's possible they're moving away uh, from that kind of energy. But I feel like it's more of that useful. This is somebody who's got that longing for somebody, you know, for just someone to have fun with. They, this is someone who likes to have someone who challenges them a little bit too. They're okay with that. They just don't want a lot of drama and fighting. I feel like that's what they've had in the past and they're not into it. So, yeah, this person, oh yeah, they want love. This person definitely wants love. Uh, look at that. I think this person actually loves children. To be honest, I do. I think this person loves children, but I think this is somebody who also wants love. So I do think they're going to take it kind of slow, but they're planning to have success in love here. This person knows how to share their feelings. They know. They're, 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 there's that melancholy, uh, this card. See, it's melancholy, longing for love. You know, where is my soulmate? This has taken this person a long time to find somebody. Oh, yeah, this is faded. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this person is definitely, they're looking for that person, that faded connection, that soulmate energy. They're longing for that. And I do feel this is a faded. They're going to feel that way. So this is the attraction to you. There's something about you they're really going to like. Uh, I feel like it's that... You, you've got some kind of energy around you that draws this person in. They need to know more, okay? And they need to know more. They do have a good sense of humor, though. Actually, some of them could have a bit of a dry sense of humor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so there is that. They're very macho, very macho, very physical, okay? Uh, they like to have a good time. They like that physical connection. Uh, they know what they want and they're not afraid to go for it. So once this, it may take a little time to get to know this person. It's just kind of, you know, it's, it, it's just someone who's looking for the one. It's just someone who's been looking. You know, there's got to be more out there. I feel as though they've likely had a relationship that was rough. And they do kind of reminisce and I do think they've learned from that. So, but I do think when this person's ready, they'll take action. I think they're quite charming. I think they... Uh, they do want love. They definitely want a very physical connection. Uh, I think they, for those, some of them, they they definitely do want children. They have a longing. Uh, I think this is somebody who actually does love children too. So uh, if you have children, they definitely can see themselves in that picture. Uh, but I do feel for those of you, when it's, if it's not that energy, this is the faded connection. Oh, yeah. This is somebody who's learned some things. Uh, I do think about being faithful, about being um, honest, about whether someone's on the same page and they want the same things. They are very physical, whether it's sports, uh, that physical connection. Okay, this is somebody who uh, I feel they do want love. They want that person. See, they waited for a very long time. They've learned a lot. Uh, this person could be a teacher, too. So somebody will let someone know how they want to be treated as well. I can tell you that. They fight for the things that they want. They, they, like, they like a challenge. I can tell you that. They don't mind somebody who challenges them. I actually feel that they really, they really like that. I feel that they, they get that. I feel it. They, it's like this, hmm, this person's interesting. This person knows. They've learned a lot. 
And I feel how they conduct themselves in their life. Like they're thinking of marriage, commitment, family, the whole package. But they want that faded connection. You know, this is the fates. This person's waiting for that one. Uh, wow. And then, yeah, body and soul. So they are definitely very physical. But I do feel they have that. They're looking for a soulmate. They want that person who's on the same path, the same page. You can teach this person things. They'll teach you some things. They're okay with... Uh, any somebody who challenges them because they learn from it wow and we have the six of cups oh yeah there's that six of cups again this person may like animals as well but i think this is for some of you definitely this person's interested in children uh, this is somebody who's waited for the right person a long time they got a little melancholy here they're looking for that soulmate connection somebody they can love body and soul and they want that vice versa too I'm going to pull out a couple more cards. Tell me about this teach. This person's learned about themselves. Yeah, Ten of Wands, about the responsibilities of a relationship, you see, uh, pulling their weight in a relationship. This person is definitely knows it takes a lot of work. They do have a lot of responsibilities if they are a parent, so it may take time to really get this going. But they're hoping to have success with you, yeah. So this is definitely someone who's thinking about marriage. I do think they work a lot. They have a lot of responsibilities. Uh, if they live alone or they are a single parent, um, they definitely want that financial stability. Maybe somebody who builds homes, fixes homes. Uh, they could be in real estate. Uh, they have a lot of weight on their shoulders, but they're very responsible. I feel they're also very physically strong. They may teach something to do with that. Uh, they could own a gym or something it popped into my head they teach people uh, that but i do feel this person is someone who's responsible they're ready for the responsibility of a relationship they're just looking for that person and they got their eye on you uh, tell me about the six of cups here we go oh yeah there we are so now this is about reciprocity they want someone who reciprocates they haven't found anyone who reciprocates who will share the responsibilities in a relationship they may have had a relationship, maybe they were even married before with someone who didn't pull their weight. They had all the responsibility. Uh, they took care of the children and paid the bills. So this person is learning for someone who's on the same page. I actually feel like you're going to have something similar. If you've been through that, they have been too. So it's about reciprocity. This person does know. Um, they only have so much time to give. That's a problem. They do. They. I do think feel a lot of you. There's children involved or... And they only have so much time and so much to give. But I do feel that body and soul. I think you're going to connect very well. There's a very good omen of this dragonfly. Even though I got this card hid, my eye is drawn to this dragonfly. It's a good omen here. This person is, is longing for someone who reciprocates. This person's definitely very physical. I can tell you that right now when it comes to the physical connection in a relationship. Very important to them. Okay. But they are learning about that. I do feel like, you know, they are stable. They have a, I feel they have a house. Uh, they take care of it. Very responsible with their money. They're just looking for the same. Uh, they are thinking of marriage and commitment. It's just going to take this person a little bit of time to get there. So if they are, like I say, if there's someone who doesn't want children, I do feel that they won't be interested. If you have children, they may not be if they find out. Um, but it's hard to say. I don't want to say that and make someone feel uh, bummed out, but I actually feel some of you both have children. So there's something very faded here, something very positive about this person. Well, let's see what this Six of Pentacles is. Yeah, I actually, you know, I got to tell you, I, I really feel very, very strongly. It keeps popping into my head. This person loves children. I wonder if they teach sports with children or something like that. They're very responsible, very reliable when it comes to children. Okay, whatever that means. If you work, maybe, maybe they're a teacher and they teach kids, uh, you know, a certain grade or they teach something from their house, their home. Okay. Or you do. Okay, so there's something here that you're going to be reciprocating back and forth here uh, to do with this energy. So it could be grandchildren or something too, okay? So let's see what the outcome is. There we go. Yeah, appreciation. So this is somebody who's been single for a while, so it's going to take them a while. Uh, I see possible single parent. Um, 
This is also someone who, see, that's that sense of joy. That's that higher vibrational, that body and soul. This is somebody who definitely uh, deserves more. Uh, they're attracted to you. They're going to tell you you deserve more. I'm going to, I feel like you're going to be sharing a little bit back and forth slowly with this person. Uh, about your past partners if you've had any okay about reciprocity somebody giving more than the other person okay feel this person if they don't have a child living with them they may be putting out a lot of money uh, for child support right now okay so they may only have enough for themselves they want a relationship but they actually need someone to help pull the weight okay so there is that energy uh, with this person but yeah it's about balance this is somebody who definitely needs to keep their life balanced uh, single parent uh, very much balancing out their emotions balancing their budget uh, they do have everything they need they're quite comfortable this person's not broke by any stretch i feel they maybe they're at the end of uh, um, paying child support and they want to take a little time till they have more money they want to have success could also be somebody starting a business. But I'll tell you, they're very attracted to you. Um, I don't think they care if you have kids, to be honest. I, I don't, I have to retract that because the more I see this, this is somebody very balanced emotionally. This is someone who's, you know, they, could be they reach out. I don't know if your children play together or you're in the same neighborhood. Um you're going to see this person as a responsible parent, responsible homeowner. Uh, that's what I feel. And I don't know if they're teaching something from their home. Um, they're definitely building a solid foundation. Maybe they're building a home. I don't know. You may notice this person is very physically strong. Just keep your eye out. You'll know. But there's something that keeps drawing my eye to that six of pentacles and it's positive. Oh, yeah. Cornucopia. So, yeah, I, I feel this person's definitely, if they are, maybe they're, somebody is uh, just about finished. They got a child that's getting older and they're waiting to finish paying for uh, their education before they start a relationship. But I feel like it's at a tail end. So you may have this person already around you, some of you. But this is a faded connection. This is something that's kind of meant to be or they're going to feel that way with you. Uh, this is really, look at that cornucopia. This person is someone who plans for financial success. This It doesn't really get any better than this. And I feel it right now, when you first meet them, they're drawn to you. I do feel they have enough for themselves. They don't have a whole lot to give, whether it be time uh, or energy, but they're willing to pull their weight to build a foundation with you. So I think you if you can be patient with this person and appreciate what they're doing uh, as well, or they see you that way, right? This is, the, take it as it resonates. You, you've got like the best you could possibly get from this person. I feel they're going to be very well off. If they're selling a home, they're going to have a lot of money. They may be wanting to downsize <laughs> um, as well. So they could be an empty nester, you know, is waiting for their kids to finish paying child support or paying for their education so they can start working on their home, uh, building a foundation. So that's who I feel this person is. Wow, interesting uh, person. I feel sensible in some way. Uh, this is somebody who's quite uh, macho, I feel even old school. Okay, they like to be able to support. Uh, if it's someone who wants children and, you know, they're thinking that they're ready for that, they definitely want to make sure they uh, can, you know, pay the bills. They like to, I think this is somebody who likes to carry the weight in a relationship uh, for the most part. They got that sense of pride. Yeah, so I do see. Look at that three of cups. This is someone in your neighborhood, your so your social circle. I feel you're gonna get to know this person. They're very positive. I feel they, uh, their friends and family will like you, as well. I feel a very positive energy. They do like to socialize. You may meet this person someplace. I don't know if you're learning something or going to school or they're teaching something. You may be involved in it. Could be something to do with kids. They could even be a teacher. Uh, but I, you know, I gotta tell you, whatever this is, this is a lovely energy, and uh, but I, they're very attracted, and I think that three of cups with that cornucopia. I see you dating this person uh, for a while. I see you getting together, then courting you in a traditional manner. Uh, I think things are gonna go in a traditional way. They're definitely old school macho type of person. Okay, um, definitely. 
but I do think they want them. They want marriage and commitment. You know, that King of Wands can be a really, really good partner. Uh, once they make up their mind and they find that person, they just go for it. You know, they don't mind being challenged either. And in fact, I feel that the two of you could be kind of competitive about some things. Um, it could sometimes lead to some arguments, but I don't think it's going to be a really big deal. I don't want to sugarcoat things too much, but I can kind of see that. Uh, but I think they do appreciate the challenge, okay? They don't mind being challenged a little if they get out of line. They need to be taught how to be treated. I think they get it. You're likely going to be teaching them the same. I think there's something back and forth with that energy. Just keep your emotions balanced. Don't let them run away with you, uh, with this person. So if you are somebody who's willing to kind of wait for a little while, I think this person is definitely, I see cornucopia, a faded connection here. It's like you're both going to be meant to meet wherever it is you meet. Like I, it even could be people matchmaking. And sometimes I, I see that energy, that matchmaking with the three of cups. As I, it's very, very positive. All right. So I'm going to pause this and then I am going to uh, go for deck three. So I'll be right back. All right, everybody, welcome back. So this is pile number three. Who is the next person attracted to you? Ooh, fulfillment. Nice. Something's right for the picking. This person's ready for a relationship. Okay, yeah, they're, <laughs> they're attracted to you. Oh, yeah, canary spirit. This is someone who has a tendency to sing their own song. They could come across as a little full of themselves. They actually could be a singer. Uh, but I do feel this person will co co communicate with you, okay? They kind of march to the beat of their own drum, drum or sing their own song kind of energy, a little bit full of themselves. But I actually feel this person's attracted to you. We'll see where this goes. Yeah, higher vibration. So this person's very attracted to your higher vibrational energy. Um, ooh, but this higher vibration. So I feel they could be a musician, uh, maybe even a singer for some of you. Uh, if you are, they're very attracted to that. But that's that higher vibrational energy, their higher self. So, oh my goodness. Eight of Pentacles. This is somebody who works very hard, very, oh yeah. This is someone who's looking for someone who's kind of perfect. They're a bit of a perfectionist. Uh, I feel they work hard. Uh, they could teach music or something like that as well. Could be somebody at work. This person's drawn to your higher vibrational energy. They also have one. I do feel they're a little bit full of themselves. I have to be honest, but they're attracted. So we'll see. Six of inspiration. Yeah. So I feel six of wands. This person definitely has a little bit of an ego. They're kind of used to being chased, but I think they're going to chase you. They, they want to put the work in. This person's going to work for this. They want to have success with you. This person's looking for somebody who's, they, they see you as someone who's perfect. I'm going to tell you, but nobody's perfect, it's telling me, so which is interesting. Oh my, yeah, burst of magic, yeah, they're very drawn to you. Look at that beautiful energy. This is a manifesting kind of energy. Uh, if they're not somebody who works with you, you can go into their place of business. I don't know if they have a, uh, they, they work on instruments or write music or whatever it is. They're definitely a creative person, uh, very inspired. A little bit of a free spirit, but they're definitely planning to have success. This person's definitely going to, it's that burst of magic, a little magician energy, very drawn to you. They're going to manifest you, and I feel like you're going to manifest this person because of your energy, or they may try to get you to kind of chase after them, so it's hard to say. You're going to have to, if you're not a chaser type, uh, then it's definitely them coming towards you. They dress for success. They're a perfectionist. They like to dress very nice. Uh, if they do write music or sing, they're very particular. They're particular about who they date uh, as well. So I feel there's somebody who's just in the limelight more than anything. But I, that burst of magic, I like that because they're very drawn. They're looking at that success. They've got all the tools they need to manifest uh, you as well, you see. You're going to be manifesting each other is what it just said. Yeah, surrender to silence. So this is somebody I feel, look at that, quiet meditation, contemplation. They're going to contemplate this, uh, this manifesting. This is somebody who, who um, I feel like they have a couple of sides. They like those quiet silences between two people, that little bit of stillness. 
Okay, so they have that side where I don't know if they perform and then they just there's something about this person. There's something about something they work on to do with this uh, the person who sings their own song. If you hear a song in the next while, there may be a clue in the song, okay? Uh, or if you sing, if you do that when you're at work, hum or sing or play music, this person's being drawn to you because of it, okay? Uh, but I do see that surrendering to silence. This is somebody who um, likes a little bit of quiet as well, okay? They like that little bit of peace and quiet, that tranquility. So that's nice. This is someone who I feel works very hard for what they have. I do feel like they're quite successful or they're working towards it. Whatever it is, it's something creative. You know, they're planning something here. They're going to manifest you. Yeah, there's treasure at the end of this here, you see. This is someone who has a, a little bit of introverted side. They kind of take their time. Uh, they might spend a little time alone. Even if you were to live with this person, they would kind of go off and work on things on their own in, in quiet, okay? Which is interesting. They have two sides to them. Yeah, so there's deep knowing. So I feel this person is somebody very intelligent, very wise, okay? They like to learn things. They like to work on things. It might even be someone who just tinkers and fixes things for people. Uh, I just, I feel like there's someone who, it's just that, see, that's what the person is attracted to you because of this peach. <laughs> you see, it's almost ripe here. <laughs> Something this person is working on is, about to make them successful as well so they have the tools they need to manifest what they want yeah there's a, a silence between two people that's that comfortable silence being able to surrender to that when you're with somebody no you don't need to talk all the time kind of energy so somebody maybe whistles while they work or they're attracted to you because you do i don't know why that's coming out yeah so there is an energy of patience and investing waiting for something to pay off here so someone is patient uh, to connect. They might just want to be friends first, maybe get to know you. That's that deep knowing. This person likes to have a deep conversation. They like to invest in a deep conversation. Uh, they like to take things kind of slow a little, but there's treasure here. This person's working on something as well. They've been working on for a while. It's going to bring them success, a lot of attention. So it's just telling you who this is, but they are very, oh yeah, this person's ready to invest in a, a caring connection. They won't invest if someone doesn't care, uh, I feel as well, uh, but they are a very patient person. They are this. If you go off to do your own thing and, or you like peace and quiet, they're good with it. You're not going to get a lot of problem from this person about uh, you know your lifestyle or the things that you do as long as there's that energy of showing that see investing in caring showing each other that you care investing uh, connecting this could be somebody who's a friend who's thinking of taking things to another level as well it could be someone you work with or someone who's worked on something for you um i see this person being someone who likes outdoorsy stuff maybe they like gardening they like adventures they're always manifesting something they're always working on something uh, which is interesting they do like a little quiet here and there though which is oh yeah eight of wands so i see a lot of talk back and forth uh, between the two of you things speeding up i feel like it, this person is busy a lot or you're both busy uh, but there's something about that connection, showing each other you care by staying in communication, by investing and having that talk. This person's a patient listener, I feel, too. So I like that. I like their energy. And I feel that, you know, it's an. I don't think you're going to have to read between the lines with this person. You know, I think they like to have a deep conversation. I think they're intelligent. I feel like they're looking for somebody who, you know, likes to sit. That doesn't mean that they're deep all the time. They're quite fine to sit in the same room with someone and just uh, sort of maybe even just be together in, in a space and you're both doing your own thing. And it's like, I, I feel like they want companionship as well. Like not just, because I'm not seeing a whole lot of physical. I'm just seeing more companionship. But it's going to go to another level here and then things are going to speed up. I see two busy people. I think see things moving forward. Let's see what this is all about. Oh, yeah. So there is definitely a contract negotiation. There's, this is a commitment. This is justice. This is someone who's looking for someone who's just right. 
I think with this person, when you connect with this person, you're going to be patient for a little bit. I don't think for a whole long time. This person's going to be thinking and strategizing, very wise. Uh, they may sit you down and decide to have a deep conversation. Okay. I think whatever it is you're comfortable with will be good for this person. There's just some things they're going to want to know. And they want to go to another level. This is going to go somewhere. This person's thinking of marriage, uh, justice, and balance. This is someone who wants to play fair. Um, I do think this person is busy a lot. They have to kind of do what's right for them as well. <clears throat> Something they're invested in is about to pay off. That's what I feel. So, yeah, goddess of the moon. This person is definitely, um, oof, they are definitely romantic. There's no doubt about that. This could be someone who's kind of admiring you secretly too, or you're admiring them. But I'm going to tell you, they are going to be drawn to that energy, that higher vibrational energy. This could be someone who can sing very high or just they this, I don't know, they're like perfect pitch. There's something to do with music, you know, the way this person communicates. Something very calming, very patient about this person. I wonder if... Um, I mean, there's definitely a bit of ego here. I can see it. They're a little bit full of themselves, but I don't think that uh, it's, uh, I, there's something about you that's just a draw. I'm going to get to the bottom of it. I just want to make sure I'm not leading you down the wrong path, but man, oh man, I, I feel like this is someone who uh, is definitely waiting for the right opportunity for a caring connection to invest emotionally, you know, they just want to maybe just be friends first, possibly. But I actually feel they're ready. I think this is someone you already know. I think this is someone you already know. This is a trust your intuition on this. Yeah, Ten of Cups, emotional fulfillment. This is some kind of celebration. It's very positive energy. Oh, yeah. Tell me about this. There we go. Oh, yeah. This is someone gaining the strength and confidence. This is someone who comes across as more confident than they are at first. <laughs> but they are high vibrational. I do feel they're strong physically. It could be someone who runs by your house for that matter. But I feel like this person is definitely someone who comes across a lot more confident than they are. Uh, I do feel this is someone who <laughs> uh, really does want to have success with you. They're going to they're gonna put some effort and work for this. There isn't going to be a, this could be a very strong connection. This could go somewhere. In fact, it could go somewhere very quickly. But I do think you need to be patient with each other. Spirit saying to be patient. Don't rush too quickly. Make sure they are right for you. Okay, get to know this person's emotional side. Uh, I see some kind of romantic something going on here. I think this person will talk to you about some emotional romantic things. I, I think they can be quite deep, uh, very wise. I also think they can be very funny and very witty. Yeah, I, I think this is somebody who's definitely, um, when this person, when it feels right to this person, okay, to invest, they're going to tell you they want to commit. They're, they're wanting to. They may have a little bit of a fear of commitment, but I think they'll let you know that. But they really are drawn. You've really attracted somebody who generally, I feel, uh, comes across more confident than they are. And that's what it was trying to tell me. So... You may feel like they have a big ego, all right, or they may have something that, that you're gonna see. Um, but I'm gonna they're actually a high they're actually quite high vibrational. Uh, I think this person's full of adventure. They are a free spirit though, so you can't control them. Uh, it's gonna move a little bit slow. You're gonna have to be patient for a wee bit. Um, it's also like I say, it's if you got a friend who's somebody you hang out and talk with, just a friend, a uh, soulmate, someone you get along with. This person's starting to very much care about you. They're going to tell you that, but they're going to wait for the right opportunity. So that could be their energy just moving slow. Yeah, two of wands. This is someone at a crossroads. They want to take things to another level. Uh, if you meet this person, I think they're going to manifest. They're manifesting money too. Uh, I do feel they'll pull back and you'll get a little silence here and there from this person. But most of this energy to me feels like this is someone who wants someone who uh, they can putter around at home, do things, and those silences aren't an issue. There's something to do with this person. I feel like it's something important to them. 
Like, I think they like music. I think this person, you know, likes a lot of things other people like, but I do think they like uh, things very quiet at times as well, or maybe quiet when they work. But there's definitely that surrender. Yeah, the temple path. This is someone who's thinking about, you know, uh, marriage and commitment. This is someone who's ready for that path, but they're looking for a partner, someone compatible. They're seeing you that way. They're coming in as their higher self. If this is someone who's had an ego and they lacked the uh, confidence and they kind of, you know, you first meet them and you feel like they got too much ego or they're kind of full of themselves, I'll tell you something, that is going to disappear uh, very quickly with this person. Yeah, let's look at that. Somebody holding their heart, putting their heart on their sleeves, not easy for this person. <laughs> they're going to do it though. Look at that. You got a person who's, uh, I, I got a funny feeling this is somebody who's a friend or you've already made a connection. If not, there's someone you work with who's kind of quietly keeping things to themselves. If you trust your intuition, you may figure out who it is. This person is someone who will feel comfortable with you. They'll do things to make you feel comfortable. Uh, they're going to try to do everything right. They're a bit of perfectionist. They're going to put a lot of effort into this. This is somebody who definitely wants love. They're going to manifest you. You may be manifesting this because of your high vibrational energy. It's kind of an empress energy, loving yourself first, okay? Uh, respecting yourself, knowing your self-worth makes this person attractive. And that's what I feel like it's saying overall. So this is a caring connection. This person cares about you. They're going to wait for the right time to approach you and tell you. Um, they see you as marriage material in a very big way. So, yeah, this is... This is someone who's kind of learned, you know. I do feel like they have to keep their life balanced, though. I got to be honest. I feel like they're working on something that's going to bring them success, so they have to stay balanced. So that's that little bit of patience you know, that you may need. If you kind of get where you just like, come on, tell me how you feel already once you're seeing them. I'm going to tell you they care uh, quite deeply, in fact, very deeply. Just know, right? Some of you know who this is. This is somebody who... I think you're going to know who this is. See, there's that moon. There's that moon. Trust your intuition. Um, if you don't know who it is or you think it's one person, it could actually be somebody else. Okay, I can see that here. You may think it's one particular person. I only need to find out it's another person. So very nice. But I see two people who are quite compatible, and that's what they're looking for. You know, there's things that they want to know. Uh, I don't think they'll tell you, you know, the little things they're kind of looking at right away. So very wise. I think they're very wise. I think this person is someone who's, um, they're they're open to learn things about, about you too. That's the thing. It's like this person isn't someone who feels they know everything. I think they're very good at some things, very perfectionist, work very hard on some things, but I don't think they're someone who thinks they know everything, okay? They're, they're not full of themselves in that way. I just think they're going to come uh, towards you uh, with a little bit of that hidden moon energy here, right? They're not so good at wearing their heart on their sleeve, but they're going to for you. So I wish you the very best, you guys. Look for this person, don't assume it's the person you think. It could be somebody else is what it's telling me. Uh, there's a possibly a choice between two. Uh, I got a feeling you're going to assume it's the wrong person no matter what. <laughs> so be on your guard for this person, okay? Take care, you guys. Bye for now.